Okay, we're back. I'm going to show you how to read formulas and how to place numbers in them. I'm not going to make you do the measurements. Up here at the top, I've already done the measurements for you. You would be using a ruler or a balance or something to get these numbers. But for speed, I'm, I've already done that for you. We're just going to be putting them in the formulas and chugging out an answer. When I took physics in college, they call that plug and chug. You literally plug the numbers in and chug out an answer through your calculator. So uh, this one, number one is area. The, the formula for area is LW. Notice it doesn't say add, subtract, multiply, or divide. The reason it doesn't is because the X that means multiply is also used as a variable or an unknown number. So it gets very confusing. So what mathematicians do, if the symbol should, if, if it's a times problem, they leave it blank or they'll put a dot in there, but no X. Problem with the dot is you got to make sure it doesn't look like a decimal point. So anyway, you're going to replace the L with what L means. L is 8.2. And by the way, tomorrow we're going to be looking at these with units. We don't have units today. Uh, and then you're going to multiply it. Again, I'm not going to use an X. I'm going to use a dot times W, 17.4. Then notice all I did was replace my L with what L measured out to be. And I replaced my W with what W measured out to be. And I wrote it out. You must write it out. You must write all of it out. Uh, it, it, you are so much more likely to get the right answer. Okay, so uh, 8.2 times 17.4 is equal to 142.68. Now, I know these aren't measurements. But normally, if they were measurements that have a unit on it, and they actually are measurements, I just left the units off, note you would actually have to do the sig figs on this one. But we're not going to do the sig figs because we, yeah, we don't know what the units are. All right, LWH. So I'm going to replace L with length, 8.2. I'm going to replace W with uh, W times 17.4. Notice I used a dot, not an X. I could also, instead of dots, I could put parentheses around some of them like this if I wanted to. Uh, and H is 10.6. Notice when I put the parentheses, there's still no X, but I know it's multiplied because there's no symbol. So I would take my handy dandy calculator and I would calculate that out. And I already did that. Uh, I get 1512.5. Point four zero eight, And remember, when there you have units, when we add units to this, you'll have to round to sig figs. You'll have to, you know, these, if these were all measurements, and they are, they all have one decimal place. Uh, so the least number of decimal places is one. So you'd have to round to the first decimal place, the four. But we're not going to worry about that right now. The next one is pi r squared h. It tells you what pi is, but you should know that. That's something you should know. Pi is 3.14. Uh, pi is actually the number, every, this works on every circle, how many times, uh, I can't remember if it's the radius or diameter, fits around the circumference of the circle. And it does it 3.14 times, no matter how big the circle is. So 3.14 times radius, radius is 14.2. Notice it says radius squared. Well, squared means you have to write that out twice. Note that 14.2 squared is not 14.2 times 2, it's 14.2 times 14.2. So you have to write it out twice. Later when we do units, you'll see why that's beneficial. It seems like a waste of time right now, but when you get labels on, or units on there, you'll know. Uh, H is 10.6. So when you chug this through the calculator, 3.14 times 14.2 times 14.2 times 10.6, you get 6711 decimal point 38576. And again, uh, these really are all measurements, but since we don't have units on them, you really can't tell that. So you would have to round this to sig figs. Uh, the next one is a fraction. Fraction always means to divide. So it tells you to put mass on top of the fraction, 8.8. .8. And on the bottom of the fraction, it tells you to put volume, 23.5. No, I'm getting these numbers from this list up here. I'm still getting them from this list up here. All right, so then I'm going to take my calculator 
and I type in my 8, 8, oops, my 8.8 .8 first, divide 23.5. The top number goes in first, you hit divide, and then the bottom number. Uh, and the answer I get is a big decimal, 0.374468. Now, you are going to be rounding that to significant digits later, just not right now, because there's no units on there. If it helps you remember that uh, dividing is a fraction, the reason the fraction symbol looks like this is because it means a fraction with numbers on top and bottom. So if it helps you remember that a fraction is a divide sign in formulas, that might help. All right, speed is another fraction. So I got distance or D on top. So uh, 540.5 over time on the bottom, 4.4. So I would take my calculator and I'd say 540.5 divided by 4.4 equal, and I get 122.840900. Now, the next lesson we have, we're going to have units on there, and we're going to have to figure out what unit goes on it and round to significant digits or sig figs. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be ready to go.